All right, so today I want to uh, make a list here of the most wanted festivals. And I asked on the community tab, what are some festivals you guys would like to see? And uh, yeah, th these are some of the replies. And we're already starting here with uh, one that I would love to see. This person said that he would like to see Double Impact Merlin and the Purple Outfit Askinor, which would be two great festivals as you can see right here. This is the perfect outfit. Purple Outfit Escanor, which would maybe transform into the one. Transformation characters haven't been, you know, around for the most part for quite a bit, but it would be perfect to make a comeback for transformation with Escanor transforming into the one. It, it's just it's just perfect. And this would be the, the best one, because... Uh, it happens in the anime, he just transforms to, you know, deal with the fight. And he has one of the best scenes in the whole show with him pointing up and saying, you know, time has come. And him fingering Zaldris, that could be the ultimate. Uh, easy for them to do because they already have laid out, like, every single movement that he could do for the animations. And for the Merlin, I mean, there's also a lot of stuff, I just... <laughs> uh, I won't put the clip for Merlin because, you know, it's just Merlin. It's just really just base Merlin with a different outfit, when you really think about it. But a, a V2 of Merlin faster would be nice because uh, not the biggest fan of the lolly form of, of, uh, form of Merlin, if I'm being honest. But yeah, this Merlin would be nice as well. I, I wouldn't be opposed to it, for sure. Next up, Demon Galfer or Rio Galfer, whatever you want to call him. Uh, I mean, <laughs> we've been wanting this guy for a while. He's been in story for a while. And, uh, you know, we don't even have the, the, the other form of Galfer, the base Galfer, with the, uh, the pink uh, outfit. Although he does have that outfit in-game, if you're unaware. It was just only available for, like, a promotion. But yeah, Demon Galfer would be huge. And he is actually one of my uh, hopes for one of the end-of-year festivals we may get this year. Because end-of-year for um, Grand Cross drops... Some of the hypest festivals, and I think if he was the November festival, I would not be opposed to it by any stretch of the imagination. I think it would be great. Uh, it would be a buff to the demon team, and a character that people have been wanting for a while. So, it would just be a great pick for sure. And what would be my pick for the December festival this year, I would love to see, is the man, Mael. It would be so perfect if they were to drop him at the end of the year, because honestly, Goddesses, uh, in PvP especially, I think deserve this guy to make it like a top, top tier team. Because they have, you know, multiple forms of Tormion Sauriel. They have multiple forms of Odosiel. The Elizabeths that never end. And Mael would just seal the deal to just make a top tier team. So if they could make, you know, Mael... What is this? Kringle Black. Okay. If they could make Mael, you know... Uh, end of year festival, so make him like super, super powerful. I would love that. Make him light as well. Just go, just go full on, full on him. Just, I, I don't care. He deserves to be super strong. Next up, we have the Indra form of Monspeed and Derriere, which again, another character that we've seen years ago. We've been waiting. There is a Monspeed into the boss that we got at one point, and um, this would be such a great opportunity for them to make such a like a brand new format of banner because they, these characters go hand in hand right and instead of doing the usual just festival maybe side unit they could just release either a double character as a festival so you know into the month beat um and into the derriere derriere in one character because it, it, they just go hand in hand right or the better option i think personally would be released them both as festivals in one banner. I don't know how the community would receive that. I, I think it would be just good value, right? If they're both uh, new festivals that are both in one banner and you can pick both of them at the end, that would be huge. That would be such a good value banner, but I think it would be also pretty hype. And most importantly, a buff to demons. Demons deserve. So as much as goddesses, I think goddesses also deserve more buffs, but demons, come on. Demons are, are in the gutter, come on. They have are almost no characters. Alright, so the next few ones here are all spoilers, I guess, if you've been, for whatever reason, keeping up with the story through the game. Uh, because those characters have not showed up in story yet, so I can't actually show any, like, 3D animated stuff uh, from them. 
uh, and I'm too scared to show anime clips. Uh, this picture, by the way, is not part of the, the video. I just wanted to put this in because I believe this is from the movie. This, I, I tried to get a screenshot from the movie for a thumbnail. Uh, and I would love the, mov the new movie characters to be in the game. Th not as a festival, just, I just want them. Because, you know, a tag team Melly and Zelda's would be dope. They could even be festivals. Uh, you know what? Add that to the video. A tag team Melly and Zelda's from the movie would be great. If you haven't watched the movie... It's pretty decent. I'll give it a watch. It's free on Netflix, so... Uh, but yeah, if you haven't watched the anime or read the manga, I would recommend reading the manga. But if you haven't done either of those, past here is kind of spoilers. But next one is the Angel of Death Mile. This would be sick. I actually, my maybe number one wanted fast of win the game. Because, you know, he doesn't really do much in the manga, but I think that he would get some insane animations, some crazy, crazy animations, and he could be a festival because of how cool he is. Again, he doesn't do much, uh, but just think of how cool he would be. That's what matters to me, is how cool he would be. So yeah, Angel of Death Mile would be uh, really, really sick. Next up, we have, uh, you know, full-on The One Ultimate. Um, and, you know, starting from here, the next two, and three, actually, uh, probably wouldn't come in uh, quite some time, but the one ultimate would be a absolutely insanely hyped festival. Uh, Demon King Zaldris, so, you know, Demon King possessing Zaldris, and Demon King possessing Meliodas would be an amazing end of year stuff like i said november and december which is where like the, the most hype festivals release uh this could even be like 2023 2024 end of year they release you know um demon king possess zaldris and uh demon king possessing Meliodas as two back-to-back -back festivals that would be <laughs> that would be nuts uh, and uh one the other most favorite characters or ones that uh, I would really want to have a festival is uh, this version of Meliodas, I think um, would be really, really sick. Uh, it would, I would have to assume, be the end-all, be-all best character in the game at launch because he would have to be. Uh, but yeah, the, you know, this would be sick as well. So that's the list. Uh, again, unfortunately for these end uh, festivals here, I couldn't show any like actual like you know, models in game of how they would look like. Because the, the models in game from story and the cutscenes is how they, they would look like in game. E exactly. But these, you know, uh, only have art. But, or the, <laughs> God forbid, I would show you the anime, choppy animation. Oh, nah. It's better to just look at the pictures. But yeah, that's about it. Uh, let me know what you think, what characters you would want to see as festivals next or at some point in the future. There are so many to pick from, though.